I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston's News, and here are your top headlines today, July 10th, 2023. Kingston police are continuing to investigate the brazen robbery of a gas station ATM in the early hours of Saturday, July 8th, 2023. Officers were dispatched to the gas station, convenience store, and restaurant location on Highway 15 near Highway 401 in Kingston early on Saturday morning following a report that suspects had broken through the storefront window and stolen an ATM. Three individuals from Kingston have been arrested and charged following a months-long investigation into the trafficking of fentanyl locally. In May 2023, members of the Kingston Police Drug Enforcement Unit received information regarding a number of individuals actively trafficking large quantities of fentanyl in Kingston. KFLNA Public Health has issued multiple warnings regarding drug-involved poisoning throughout 2023, the most recent of which was on June 30th. On Tuesday, July 11th, 2023, Lainey Hurdle, Chief Administrative Officer of the City of Kingston, will present a report to Kingston City Council recommending that Kingston provide support in principle to the proposed Quinty Energy Storage Centre project. The Quinty ESC is anticipated to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by a minimum of 90,000 tonnes annually, and the report suggests that this project will be a significant leap forward in Ontario's future grid. According to a release from the OPP, in 2022, police responded to 9,110 collisions that involved a transport truck, marking the highest number of transport truck-related crashes on OPP patrolled roads in more than 10 years. The incidents, which accounted for 12% of overall collisions last year, resulted in 71 fatalities, the majority of which were preventable. Improper lane changes, following too closely, and speed were the top primary causes for these collisions, and not just on part of the commercial drivers, police said. Kingston Community House at 99 York Street recently received a $10,000 grant from Kingston Community Credit Union to assist with its ambitious renovations to make the facility more accessible and user-friendly. KCH's guiding principle has always been to include everyone, except there's one problem, the house. It has five levels and is therefore extremely difficult to make accessible. The indoor renovation has a total cost of around $80,000 and members are very grateful to KCCU for donating $10,000 in seed money to make a start towards these interior renovation goals. The smallest patients at Kingston Health Sciences Center will see the most benefit from a grant from the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. The $30,000 grant will go toward the purchase of a glidoscope for the NICU which combines two technologies into one device and will save time and additional tubes entering a vulnerable infant, according to the University Hospital's Kingston Foundation. The OPP has implemented a new engagement tool that will see auto-generate text message responses when someone contacts the OPP to report an event of a certain type on their mobile device. Starting on Monday, July 10th, 2023, members of the public may receive these text messages after a call for service from a carefully curated list of event types. Messages will be available in both English and French, and recipients can easily opt out of receiving any additional text from the system. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingsonist.com and subscribe.